Okay, so holidays is a pretty mixed bag, honestly. It's okay. There's, so there's four stories here. Four of them I like. Four of them I <laughs> thought were okay or I didn't like. Uh, these four stories are part of a, a holiday tradition, like, story. The first one we get is... God, I, f I even forgot. First one is Valentine's Day. So, yeah... <sighs> I don't know. Straight out weird. There's like this corny like song that plays out. So we have this girl who gets bullied by other girls because I don't know. I didn't enjoy seeing that. I was like, okay, this whole anthology is going to be about bullying. It's like, I don't want to watch a movie about bullying. But no, you know, luckily it isn't that. Girl, she like likes her, her swimming coach. Some weird fantasy BS. I was like, okay. I was expecting horror, but not some stupid love story. But see, the teacher feels bad. So he like writes her a letter. She looks at it and thinks he loves her or something. And then she did this, uh, decides to kill, I'm assuming this girl that's the leader. She's a, a blonde chick. She dies. Good job. And then she like takes her heart out and then takes it to the coach while he's talking with his wife. And that's how the first story ends. I'm sitting there like, okay, I guess this is going to be a weird one. I don't know because I'm, I'm thinking of like creep show, you know, or like tales from the dark side. Now granted, it, again, it's about holidays. So maybe, I don't know, like Valentine's. This is, I don't know, it was weird. So the second story is, I believe, St. Patrick's Day? I think, I think it is. The, the snake baby again weird one super weird you have this teacher who's i'm assuming alone she's not married at all and then like she tells the kid to you know play around and then this kid is like an evil kid puts her head next to her stomach and she has like this reptile baby a, a fucking snake so, again super weird and random and then she eventually gives birth to this fucking half human half snake again i'm sitting there this is weird but it's not too weird to the point to where it's like a turn off this is just like okay weird stuff and then she eventually gives birth it turns out this girl and this guy or her father is part of this cult recruit it's not full it's explained but i was too weirded out but she eventually gave birth to, to this snake she goes to a bunch of people who are carrying the snake this thing has big old eyes like human eyes not human eyes big black eyes and she starts dancing around this goddamn tree it says they're celebrating st patrick's day or something is it uh, let me check it is st patrick's day again weird not bad but weird next is easter this good one final so we have this little girl who has nightmares of like this easter creature and slash monster turns out to be true this monster has i think holes in his hands and then he comes and she finds him and then you know he talks to her that she's like different or something it's always hard to remember but he like i don't know he, he's also like half a goat man as well it's weird it's really weird but he eventually like consumes her and then she like dies what i like about it is it's set in this little apartment because i live in an apartment so it's kind of scary thing that maybe one night there's this random creature or goat man like inside this apartment just coming around just trying to like, consume you or something next is mother's day weird one uh, this one seems a bit slow so you have this woman every time she has sex she pregnant interesting concept right kind of like a uh, weird folklore stuff way back in the day so then she goes to this doctor this doctor prescribes her with and help basically just go to her sister's place and then they like massage her and do a seance do all that bullshit she doesn't like you know her fear will being taken away because she's forcing her to stay there while she has a big old belly she doesn't know why every time she has sex she just gets a big old belly and gets pregnant and then she decides she gets to run out she you know falls over so and she's about to give birth and then this hand okay this hand red hand assumingly the devil comes out and gives you know she gives birth to the devil again this one's super slow it was i guess weird this whole movie anthology is just weird apparently the devil was inside her because it was red i don't know if, if it was the devil but it was a hand and it was red so you know that was creepy i wasn't expecting that i was expecting some other like reptile but i guess the devil she gave birth to the devil fathers it another creepy one though another one that i actually like it's also similar to one miss call or you know supernatural episode like 14 long distance call we're not talking about that but this girl her dead father is calling her from the grave there's a lot of uh, similarities again to one miss call and whatnot her dead father or supposed real father calls her to you know go on this road trip and go inside this building alone while there's some creature in this building she succumbs to one of these doors turns out it's a lie so not only was she disappointed but also find out it was fake and she dies in the process of it so yeah it's really creepy you know just like a ghost i don't know if it was a ghost or a creature messing with people's loved ones you know pulling on their heartstrings and getting them to wherever they are and just completely killing or eating them which is really interesting also did this one i think this one had like pretty cool sh like shots and cinematography I'm i may be mistaking it for s some other one but i looked really cool halloween this has harley from, from epic meal time sadly he's like one of the worst parts so he's like this him and it's halloween night and you got these three girls who turns out who want to be witches or they claim to be witches so they have harley be a campbell 
boy, I guess. He's wearing this big old like diaper thing. They stuck up something up his ass so they can electrocute it. And then they force him to cut off his own dick. So yeah, this is not, this is honestly the, the only bad one. This pimp, pimp Harley calls another girl in so that he could pimp her out. These girls answer the door, says that whoever the leaders is changing. And then that's how it ends. It's bad. Christmas, Seth motherfucking Rogan is in this. And it's okay. There are these VR glasses. Hooray, VR glasses that he wants to get for his son, for his kid. So in doing so, he kills another man to get it because that man got the last one. No, his kid tries in the VR. However, this VR, stupidly, makes people see what they've done in the past. So when he puts it on, he's like cheating on his wife. And then, like, you know, it shows him killing this man again. Okay. And then, he, you know, he's feeling very guilty about it. His wife finds out. Turns out she, she finds it hot for some reason. Really weird. This movie's really weird. He puts on the, the VR glasses the next day. Turns out she's a murderer herself. So these two people are horrible and they're together. The wife is like, I guess is more worse because she's killing people. So this whole movie, again, random ideas and out there ideas. New Year's is the last one. We meet this girl. First of all, we open up with this guy playing another woman, you know, prey on his next victim with this woman. Turns out this woman's also crazy like him, trying to kill other men. He's trying to kill other women. So they both fight each other. She gets the upper hand and finally kills him. She starts laughing and start dancing. I was like, okay. First of all, this guy's teeth is fucking ugly. So ugly. And then this woman's teeth is very nice. He looks like a nice girl, but she's like this crazy psychotic killer. It's okay. It is. Oh, shit. Fucking shit. Hold on. I switched being a big fan of horror anthologies. Sadly, it's just okay. So the next day, the third day will be the Carrie movie. However, it will be the 2002 TV movie. Never seen this one. I've also never seen the original and the sequel to the original or the 2013 remake. So this is my first entry toward the Carrie series.